Elif, I'm in your apartment. Um, I'm walking through. Andrew told me that these tiles let go. This section right here, which you can see they did. One of them's there under the sink. I'm going to see if he knows where the other ones were. I thought there were four or five. One of them did break. I thought he told me that the rest of them were okay. So I'm going to check on that for you. This could use a cleaning, obviously. Um, they did leave some things here that need to be thrown out. There's a little scuff on the wall there. Just kind of ordinary wear and tear. Um, they kind of leave it the way guys would leave it. Not in impeccable shape. So probably want to uh, get the place cleaned. Uh, as far as markings on the floor, there's a couple there. I don't know if they'd come out. A couple small ones here. A little bit of discoloration there. And again, I don't know if you're holding a deposit, but you might want to get it cleaned and see if these things come out. And then decide whether or not you want to hold the deposit. The rest of the place overall looks pretty good. And um, I'm just kind of doing you this as a favor. I don't know what was here or what wasn't here before, but you can see what they left. And um, this bathroom, see what's here. And it uh, doesn't look like they beat it up or anything, but I'll check on those tiles for you and let you know. Okay, um, hopefully you recognize everything that's supposed to be here couple of things in there and as far as kitchen I don't know if they were supposed to leave anything here that's under there and then in the drawers you have and sundry items here that were probably things that that they started with that you provided for them So there's those things under there and up here. Oh, I don't know if you have an inventory list or what, but it's fairly complete. They did leave quite a bit. And uh, that's just bottles there in that box. More items here that they left. So for the most part, it looks like a pretty full kitchen. Nothing up there, and over here, nothing, and just a couple of items in there. Looks like a cutting board. All right, so let me know if you, uh, if you do want to retain any of their deposit, you have to do that and give them an itemized list of anything with uh, uh, prices on it for what you're going to retain, and I think that has to be done by um, an independent, you know, person that would be um, pricing it so uh, and that you should do within 14 days so anyway there you have it this is the threshold leading into the bathroom from the master bedroom you can see there's a crack on that so I thought you better see that and then also um, in the living room again little wear and tear here uh, although he did say that some of this wear and tear was evident when he moved in. So, just small spots here and there, down there. And uh, so, where is it? There it is. Got a plug. And over here, a little bit. Up front on here. Some scuffs. But again, I think this would all be ordinary wear and tear. You might have somebody touch up or something. Nothing. Monumental. I think he's going to send you uh, some evidence, uh, pictures, whatever, of the way it looked when he came in. So I guess that's between you guys. Thanks. Just real quick, sorry I missed the closets. You have an ironing board in here and a, uh, an iron. And on this side, looks like they left a couple things up there. I don't know what the, those things are, but uh, there's your vacuum cleaner, I guess. Oh, that just looks like some bedding. Okay.